So what is happening till now, whatever we have got is the radiation intensity. What is the radiation intensity being emitted? Okay. Now, if I consider a radiation intensity, I reverse it to incident radiation. Radiation intensity. This radiation intensity, I'm converting into incident radiation. Let us look at it. So if you take this incident radiation, if I look at this incident radiation, let us see what it is. Let us look at incident radiation. Let us look at incident radiation. See, the intensity of the incident radiation, the intensity of incident radiation, intensity of incident radiation, which is given as I i which is a function of theta and phi it depends on the solid angle also is defined is defined as the rate at which defined as the rate at which the rate at which the radiation energy radiation energy dg so we are, we are putting g here okay, dg is incident is incident from the from the theta comma phi direction theta comma phi direction theta comma phi direction per unit area per unit area of the receiving surface of the receiving surface of the receiving surface normal receiving surface normal to this direction to this direction and per unit solid angle and per unit solid angle per unit solid angle about this direction about this So incident radiation is like this, you have this here, you have the area, small area ds around it, let me write this, so the small area in here, this is going up, okay, and now this is the area which is the area, and over this, at a particular, in a particular direction, which can be of theta and some angle which it is rotated by say <coughs> some phi <coughs> some phi this is the line around which I take a small solid angle like cone like that <coughs> right In that direction, you are taking a solid angle. This is our I, 
i which is a function of theta and phi concepts are involved but it's for a small period of time okay small uh, things are only difficult. You want you can write this like this so that you will get more clarity. Okay. Let this be doctor. Done. Don't write. Don't. Next. Irradiation. I'll write here only. Oh, don't want. I'll write on the next one. Okay, we'll write. Irradiation. Irradiation. G. Irradiation G. Is. Is. The radiation flux. Is the radiation flux flux that is incident on the surface that is incident on a surface from all directions so g is equal to integration of dg which is equal to phi is equal to 0 to 2 pi into phi is equal to for theta is equal to 0 to phi i i theta comma phi cos theta sin theta d theta d phi this you write as the next equation what is the next equation equation 21 is there this is 22 and this is important I hope online students, my head is not coming in the way. Hope so. But why don't we divide by two? Because the thing is that the whole thing represents here. No, it represents half sphere, hemisphere. If I uh, wait a minute, uh, what? Uh, no, it represents sphere. So what? Sorry, uh, zero to two pi. So your question is. Oh, I got you. Theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2. You are right. Uh, hemispherical by 2. I'm very sorry here. There should be correction here also if that is there. Yes, here. Pi by 2. Because we are talking about hemisphere alone. So change this students. Very important. 17. Question number 17. The equation number 17. Change it. It's pi by 2. It does not come whole sphere. That is what the question you asked that day. Yesterday you asked that question. You meant that? So by, by, yeah, by its pi, okay. So he did not have an idea. He he wanted the whole sphere, how it is coming. But here we are going with the hemisphere. So hemisphere is pi by two, not pi. Please kindly correct that, students. This is okay. Solid angle is, is, is obtained by the entire sphere is fine. 
here it is fine this is proper but when we consider the radiation here the radiation intensity it is a hemisphere change equation 70 everybody has changed that you know it is 70 nello hoyta ठीक है चला इधर नोड़ यार इधर लग नोड़ो इस शेयर कर नोड़ी यू नो हाउ फाइल कीपिंग एंड एवरीथिंग यू लर्न नो एंड इट लुक्स नाइस आल्सो इट लुक्स प्रोफेशनल राइट ओनली इफ अ पर्सन इज नॉट वेरी इन द सेंस systematic he will struggle because he log bida ta paper ha If it is both sides, it's radiating from both sides. So we are generally worried about surface. This surface, this surface, this surface, why this surface? Hello, brother. Next up, I tell brother. Brother, you come over. You like to understand. इंदू विषय आगे कास्थेटा मिसेक वेरी इंपारटेंट इू चेंज मे राटेड Pi by two, not pi. I tell you, this is okay. This is okay, right? I'll go slow here. No, no urgency here in this case. At night, we now radiation mode. So we will hopefully complete radiation by today. Ega, in addition, if it is a diffusely incident radiation, or a, I tell you, elder do, or a diffusely incident radiation, or a diffusely incident radiation, or a diffusely incident radiation. Okay, G. Is equal to pi into i. Okay, so many watt per meter square. Fine. So why? Because since since i i of theta comma pi is equal to i i, which is a constant for diffuse.
So once go to 90 the equation, sir. One second. Equation number 19 you are talking about. Yes. Here pi by 2. No, it is pi only. It's not pi by 2, it's pi only. That does not change. Only here pi by 2 changes. You can do the integration and see. Yesterday we did not do the integration. Integration will get pi by 2, sir. If you take pi by 2. Let us do it. Okay. So cos theta d theta pi. Let us do it. Okay. So what we want is aside. 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 So what we have to do? Integration of 0 to 2 pi. Integration of 0 to pi by 2. This is theta. This is pi. We have to do cos theta into sin theta d theta d phi. Correct? Cos theta d theta d phi. Is it not? Now cos theta sin theta d theta. How can we write this? Sin 2 theta by 2. Sin 2 theta by 2. Okay. So we will have this as integration of pi is equal to 0 to 2 pi and we have uh, 0 theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin 2 theta by 2 correct into d theta d phi when you do that sin 2 theta by 2 what you will get you will get it as uh, yeah you will get it as cos theta 2 cos theta cos 2 minus theta is it not 2 theta by 2, two. Cos two theta minus cos huh? 2 theta by 2 cos 2 theta by 2 uh, yeah, cos 2 theta by 2. You are not differentiating, you are integrating, right? So, cos 2 theta by 2. So, we will have minus cos 2 theta by 2, right? Into 2. So, it is 4, right? From which to which? From 0 to pi by 2. And then you have integration. Pi is equal to 0 to 2 pi, right? Into d phi. So, what you will get this, this as? So, you will have cos of uh, 2 pi, which is cos of pi minus cos of 0. What do you get for that? Minus 1, minus 1. So minus 2 by 4. So it is 1 by 2. And then uh, then you say pi, you get pi only. So doing it is important. So sometimes if you have a doubt, fine, we'll go for it. Yesterday, if you had done this integration, you would have been in better position, but still it's okay. Fine. So this is incident radiation. This is also important, students. 22 is over. This is 23. This is 23. Okay. Next, radiosity. Radiosity. It has S rather than C. So, radiosity. Radiosity is nothing but you have incident plus reflected or emitted, or I'll write it in the next slide, not here. But if you have not done, so let us see radiosity. Radio city. So, how does a radio do it? Also, nowadays we have these FM radios. So, we have one thing it is emitting lights, is it not? It is emitting some power. Oh, so, I'll say E emissive power E. So, this can be emissive power E. Emissive power E. Fine. And then some incident radiation is coming. The incident radiation is called irradiation, right? This is the irradiation. 
irradiation is represented by G. What is falling on it? Okay. Emissive power is represented by E. Now, what is incident? A part may be reflected. So, this is a reflected irradiation. This is a reflected irradiation. Reflected irradiation. Together is called radiosity. Radiosity J. Radiosity J. So this J radiosity, okay. Uh, <clears throat> represents okay <clears throat> the radiosity represents the rate at which rate at which radiation energy radiation energy leaves a unit area leaves a unit area of a surface in all directions unit area of surface in all direction this is represented by j okay. represented by j okay. so j is actually equal to integration of Pi is equal to 0 to 2 pi. Integration of 0, theta is equal to 0, 2 pi by 2 into I, that is radiation intensity of emitted plus reflect, which is a function of theta comma phi cos theta sin theta d theta d so this is equation number 24 you see and for a diffuse emitter for a diffuse emitter which is also a diffuse reflector which is also a diffuse a reflector diffuse reflector means it falls then it goes in all the directions the opposite to that is specular it comes as specs okay specular is like mirror light diffuse means when it is reflected when it charges here and it goes everywhere this wood is a uh, type of diffuse or for example, our uh, blue chair is a diffuse reflector. Whereas if you consider this mobile screen, it is a specular almost. Okay, It is not giving in all direction. You see here, you can see what is coming from there. Yes. It's like it is not uh, spread in all directions. What happens? Diffuse means you hit a ball, ball becomes piece piece, and it comes out. This. It comes out, but it's coming out, but a ball is coming and hitting it, it and going out like this. It's like maybe uh, it's a moti chur led to being hit to a wall. Okay. <laughs> you get the point. Okay. And uh, specular means as if I'm hitting a uh, is a ball, actual ball, cricket ball or tennis ball to the wall. So that is reflecting. So, so reflector uh, J is actually equal to pi into I of E plus R. Very good. So this is equation number 25. Make sense?
Now the same thing can be in spectral. Spectral means for a particular frequency. So you may have, see we have considered three things. One is emission, emissivity. Second one is irradiation. Third one is radiosity. All, all the three, we have spectral radiosity, spectral emissivity, we have the uh, emission we have taken, spectral emissive power we have taken, not emissivity, spectral emissive power, spectral irradiation, spectral radiosity. All the three things exist. But I'm not going to go with that because it's easy. Okay. So I'll not write it again. Okay. So, okay. Now, finish done? No, not, not. Now let us do this. Okay, pi is equal to i e plus r, right? Now let us see next. Now here, in this case, let us go for it. Okay. Similarly, we have spectral intensities which are there. Okay. So emissive power, emissive power, power. Irradiation, emissive power E, E, irradiation, irradiation G, and radiosity, radiosity J, have, have corresponding spectral quantities. Spectral quantity is called spectral emissive power, E lambda, spectral irradiation, spectral irradiation which is given as G lambda and spectral radiosity. J lambda. J lambda. Okay. So, uh, spectral radiosity, J lambda, along with, okay, okay, that's enough. Okay. So, E is equal to integration of 0 to infinity. E lambda, D lambda, J is or G is equal to integration of 0 to infinity i of sorry 0 to infinity g lambda d lambda and j is equal to integration of 0 to infinity j lambda d lambda okay j into d lambda and e lambda is equal to pi into i of lambda e g lambda is equal to pi into i of lambda comma i incidentally and j lambda is equal to pi into i of lambda lambda i plus r makes sense here Okay. 
what is i lambda i lambda e which is a function of lambda phi and theta is actually equal to or lambda theta phi theta phi is equal to d q dot emitted divided by d a cos theta d omega into d lambda here addition is d lambda d a cos theta d omega d lambda d omega is a solid angle d lambda is the similarly similarly if you have to say i lambda i is equal to d q dot incident divided by d a cos theta d omega d lambda and i lambda incident plus incident plus reflected is equal to d q dot incident plus reflected divided by d a cos theta d omega d lambda आराम से आराम से टोटल डू इट वेरी वेरी आराम से नो अर्जेंसी दिस इज नॉट दैट इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड इनिशियल टैस टाइम गोस इन यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद इट्स नॉट समथिंग व्हिच विल ड्रैग योर टाइम नो इट इज नॉट समथिंग व्हिच विल ड्रैग योर टाइम इट विल ड्रैग टाइम ओनली विल अंडरस्टैंड is solid and how did we write the intensity intensity radiation observed here how did we write radiation intensity What was d omega solid angle? Sine theta d theta d. now spectral intensity of radiation spectral intensity of emitted radiation spectral intensity of emitted radiation by a black body by a black body can be determined determined using planck's law planck's law as i d lambda which is a function of lambda comma t is equal to 2 h c not square divided by C not square divided by C not square divided by. Oh, we have changed the notation here. Is it? It's okay, fine. Lambda power phi C not is velocity found in velocity of uh, light in vacuum. Okay. Exponential of 
एच सी नॉट बाय लैम्डा के टी इन माइनस वन माइनस वन सो मेनी वैट पर मीटर स्क्वायर स्टेरिडियम माइक्रोमीटर looks very complicated but it's not that complicated it is complicated when we go towards all the where towards quantum mechanics it's difficult where h is equal to 6.62 6069 into 10 power minus 34 joules second is the planck's constant Planck's constant and k is equal to one point three eight zero six five into ten power minus twenty three joule per kelvin is the Boltzmann constant. It is not Stephen Boltzmann constant. It is the Boltzmann constant when we use n k t for P V is equal to n k t. You remember? That is Boltzmann constant. Okay, so it is Boltzmann's constant. Fine. This is the same thing we use for our PV is equal to N. We have what are the uh, gas laws we have? We can write PV is equal to M R characteristic into temperature. I can write pressure into volume is equal to N. Into I can write uh, yeah n moles into R universal into T or I can write P into V is equal to capital N which is the number of molecules this is the number of moles this is the number of molecules into K into T this is R universal K into T which is also which one so these are all the things. So this is K. K is fundamental. P into V is what work? Pressure into volume is the work, or the energy? Is it not? This is the energy of all the molecules combined together. K is the energy of one molecule at that particular temperature. You multiply by temperature, you multiply by number of molecules, you get the total energy. It's okay. next C naught, which is equal to two point nine. Which one? Ah, uh, this is the uh, gas laws. Which no, is sir, there. this thing I will lambda two C two H C naught square. That we will not go to the depth of it. Enough. Okay, for gate this much is enough. Okay, so we can go deeper, but it will take some more time in my opinion, which I don't want to spend. Okay, you can. apply that and you can get it later on uh, but i think it is unnecessary at this moment of time 10 power 8 meters per second let us concentrate now on gate alone okay so this is also not very much required but let us remember this okay so as the second or the third one 25th is over okay write all these things as 26 write all these things as 27 and write all these things as 28 if you have written three things you can write 28a 28b 28c that's also possible but say all these three are 28 fine and then this should be 29 is the velocity of light is the speed of light speed of light in vacuum in a vacuum now 
EB lambda, EB lambda, which is a function of lambda and t, can be written as pi into IB lambda, lambda comma t. Very very. This you write it as equation number three. Same EB lambda you might have seen previously also, is it not? Same EB lambda. This is the not, not the new one we have seen. This EB lambda is over. Initial, you saw, saw that? EB lambda. This is the first thing you have seen. The same. Spectral emissive power and emissive power. Got it? This and that has a relationship. Make sense? You can easily get C1, C2 and all those things. You apply this, you can get it. But here we have used the C for velocity of uh, light. Okay. So these things you have to understand. That's it. Okay. Shall we go further? Up. Now, so we have gone to the receiving side. Okay. But there's still more. So here, till now, we are going with the black bodies only. Now we have to go with something else, okay? Which is not a black body, okay? Let us see, okay? Now, let us see radiative properties. In that, the first one we will see is emissivity. Emissivity. We look at emissivity. Okay. Emissivity of a surface, okay. emissivity, it is generally represented by epsilon okay, of a surface. The surface is the ratio of is the ratio of the radiation ratio of the radiation emitted emitted by the surface by the surface at a given temperature at a given temperature to the radiation to the radiation emitted to the radiation emitted by a black body by a black body at the same temperature at the same temperature so both are same temperature okay it can range the value of emissivity, the value of emissivity ranges from 0 till 1. You cannot have more than one radiation, more than one emissivity. Maximum is 1, minimum is 0. But nowhere it goes to 0 because every, it should be actually, that is 0 less than epsilon less than 1 
you cannot put equal actually they have put equal but there are no bodies which does not emit any radiation so this would be zero it will not be there minus you could put a minus because it may ha huh, it may absorb all the radiation which is emitting the surface may absorb in such case it might be okay let us write theoretically okay let us write theoretically theoretically it may have a shield the surface may be such that it has a shield which will not which will absorb all the emitted radiation theoretically it is not practically okay. so let it be zero so now for a black body for a black body epsilon is equal to 1 okay similarly uh we are talking about emission is it not okay so spectral emission spectral emissivity epsilon lambda is equal to which is a function of lambda t theta i correct it's all the function of this is equal to in radiation which is emitted okay radiation intensity into lambda theta pi comma t or lambda t theta pi theta pi divided by i b lambda which is a function of lambda and t right so this you can write it as equation number okay is can be written as equation number equation number okay we will write another one here let us write epsilon is equal to e divided by e b write this also okay, so e divided by e b which is given as equation number we have 30 31 and 32 so you have to remember that it is e divided by e b e is the emission or the uh, radiation emitted by the surface this can be e and emitted by a black body this can be eb right नेक्स्ट विषय ऐन वि कैन हाव स्पेक्ट्रल हेमस्पेरिकल एमिसिविटी स्पेक्ट्रल और डायरेक्शनल एमिसिविटी फर्स्ट ऑफ आल वील राइट टोटल डायरेक्शनल एमिसिविटी टोटल डायरेक्शनल एमिसिविटी एप्सिलॉन एट अ डायरेक्शन any direction given epsilon which is theta pi t in a direction can be written as i emitted in that theta pi at a function of t divided by i b at that t that is direction emissivity in a direction you have to okay. total direction emissivity okay so that's enough okay now let us see one by one other things okay so you may have for example a gray surface okay gray surface and diffuse okay okay 
diffusions. Diffuse surface. So, diffuse surface is a surface whose properties properties are independent of direction of surface whose properties are independent of directions gray surface a surface whose properties whose properties are independent of wavelength independent of wavelength okay. so we will see all the shades of gray now okay. what are the different shades of gray okay. in that movie i don't know different shades of gray i did not see that movie i just heard about it I don't know any details of it, but I like that word was catchy. Well, is there something bad in that? No, right? The movie. Yeah. Huh? Struggle. If you read the notebook, you will get something. Okay. Fine. Better not tell me. Uh, nothing illegal right <laughs> maybe so <laughs> then i don't know i am in no city okay nowadays whatever we are doing see khan is getting into trouble because of what is told in the song somebody talks about it it's fine okay but if there is uh, some uh, uh, or to say police case it happens because what i am talking that becomes it Uh, he may get a police case. He said, "Okay, <laughs> you look at the see at the okay, yeah, chalo, don't worry. You see what is there in the so he's into trouble now, okay, for uh, uh, anyhow, chalo. This is what happens when you go online. There are trouble also. There is opportunity also. Okay, so Shane had told me previously only." Uh, be careful. Ah, controversial. controversial, yes. No, he was not controversial actually. He just spoke his mind out. That's it. Okay, and it was not something which was wrong. Okay, anyhow. So, blackboard. Epsilon is equal to one. Okay, so this is lambda. I will put here. epsilon lambda epsilon is emissivity here it is emissivity see the difference is not emissive power it is emissivity now if you consider a gray body this would be the gray body this is our gray body which has epsilon which is less than 1 but a constant across the which is across wavelengths it is constant is it not across wavelength gray body is constant the real body real surface may be like this this may be the, the real surface the real surface epsilon lambda epsilon lambda is less than one. epsilon lambda is equal to 1 across okay so it's also diffuse okay next over here if i consider lambda here and if i consider e lambda not eb lambda i'm talking about e lambda so 
T lambda means whatever the emissive power is. If you see the black body, it will have the highest. This is the black body. It should not start from zero. It should start from here so that it, zero is not gone. We never reach that zero. Okay, so this is all. So this is black body. Black body. And then if you see the gray surface, gray will be almost similar. If you follow the black body, Okay. This is gray surface. This one is real surface. This is the real surface. So here gray surface is gray surface e b lambda is equal to epsilon into sorry e lambda is equal to epsilon into e b lambda black body it is e b lambda whereas real surface it is e lambda is equal to epsilon lambda here epsilon lambda is equal to epsilon is equal to one right this like because epsilon is epsilon is less than one i'm sorry is equal to epsilon is less than one it is same emissivity is same along the all the lambdas here epsilon changes with the different lambdas okay so eb lambda so for a gray surface for a gray surface for a gray surface epsilon is epsilon lambda is equal to epsilon which is not a function of lambda whereas for a real surface for a real surface e lambda epsilon lambda is equal to is a function of lambda Epsilon lambda is a function of lambda. Very important. And uh, refer, I'll tell refer, single page 732 and 733 for more information so when i say that you have to refer students okay refer single and single and gajar and gajar and gajar done you see next so this is So still we are going with the basics of radiation only. We have not started radiation heat transfer till now. So that here we are seeing what is radiation only. So most of the question that comes in gate is on radiation heat transfer. And that is easy. But that is easy when you understand these things. And this, although it looks very difficult, it's not difficult. Okay? It's only that you have to be patient till I complete. Patient means state of mind, not a state of body.
then so, now another point which we has to be there is something called absorptivity absorptivity reflectivity and transmissivity and trans emissivity absorptivity okay, is represented absorptivity see whatever is incident radiation there are three things which can happen so this is the work piece or not work piece so i have to come from building okay it is a surface we are talking about surface okay so there is a incident radiation okay so incident radiation is coming in g is it not so this is a incident radiation this is g the so part of this radiation part of this energy is reflected back so what is reflected back is represented as rho into g some part is transmitted some part may be transmitted okay some part may be transmitted Sir, yes, please. So, can you tell me the difference between E B and E B lambda? E B and E B lambda, is it okay? So now, if you consider, uh, yeah, in case of a uh, diffuse surface, now yes, you have. Uh, so he is worried about such diffuse surface. You said you said everything about gray surface. You have not said anything about the diffuse surface, right? So let us do that. in a diffuse surface what happens it does not depend on theta and phi got the point so for a diffuse surface you want okay one second let me put one more thing so for a diffuse surface for a diffuse surface for a diffuse surface eb epsilon b epsilon lambda epsilon lambda which is function of theta and sorry it's a function of lambda theta phi temperature will only be will be equal to epsilon lambda of theta phi and temperature so it will not be sorry it will not be that it will be a function of lambda and t alone lambda t alone theta and phi whichever direction it is it does not change so a gray surface can be a diffuse surface. so for a for a diffuse gray surface for a diffuse gray surface surface for a diffuse gray surface we can have for a diffuse gray surface okay for a diffuse gray surface epsilon is only a function or epsilon lambda is only a function of sorry may not be also a function of temperature okay uh, but uh, if you say that it is not proper it can be a function of temperature and sometimes it is a function of temperature epsilon is epsilon lambda which is a function of temperature but this epsilon lambda is not a function of lambda across all the wavelengths the emissivity will be the same what is emissivity again the emissive power of that particular body divided by emissive power of the black body what is the fraction of energy it is emitting when compared to the black body now black body is a diffuse surface black body is diffuse surface means it does not depend on the direction all the direction it diff it diffuses properly so if i say this direction what is the uh, intensity of radiation it is the same for a black body for a black body i 
which can be written as theta and phi function of theta and phi will be i black body constant if you go in this direction it will have a constant radiation if you go in this direction it will have constant direction radiation you go near the surface constant radiation in that direction make sense so your black body is a diffuse surface so if you have a diffuse surface which is not a black body then what happens it's emitting radiation it has epsilon it has epsilon which does not change with the direction but it may change with lambda it may have a different emissive for emissivity for white light, uh, for a blue light x ray it may be different for compared to the black body so diffuse surface may uh you say may diffusely emit x rays everywhere but when you take the ratio of the emissive power of the black body in the x ray region and put it in the denominator in the numerator you put the radiation the emitted radiation by the this diffuse surface you may get one number and that number is same that emissive emissivity number is same along all the direction but you have x rays you have taken you have you are taking infrared radiation infrared radiation that is emitting across all the direction equally divided by infrared radiation which is emitting by a black body if you take the ratio you will have emissivity so emissivity for infrared radiation for a diffuse surface may be different from the emissivity for a x ray for a x ray emissivity is different for infrared emissivity is different but that x ray which is which it is emitting it is emitting equally in all direction that infrared which, which is emitting is emitting equally in all direction but in case of a gray surface if you consider gray surface gray surface may not emit equally in all direction gray surface may not uh, what do you say gray surface may not emit equally in all direction but if you take across the hemisphere if you take all the radiation which is coming out in the x ray region okay and divide it by a black body emissivity in the x, uh, black body emissive power in the x ray region you get the ratio that you say emissive that is that is the emissivity that will be the same emissivity for the uh, for the uh, infrared radiation also so gray surface is across lambda so emissivity for gray body whether it is gamma radiation x ray radiation ultraviolet radiation visible radiation infrared radiation everything the emissivity is same then it is gray surface diffuse surface means the emissivity depends on the direction yes the emissivity depends on the direction so if you have this direction that's a different emissivity if you go back side it's a different emissivity that is called a diff, that is not a diffuse surface diffuse surface is the one which has same emissivity in all the direction makes it clear cha now clear no adachya so diffuse is same for both black and gray see gray surface can be a diffuse surface if a gray surface is a diffuse surface means what its emissivity emissivity in the uh, ultraviolet region is equal to the emissivity in the infrared region and also it is the same in all the direction it is like saying for example a person person's characteristic a person has a big beard a person does not have a beard the person is tall a person is short you can have combination of all these things is it not 
A short person may have a big beard. A long person can have a short beard, similar way, gray and diffuse. Make sense? Sure. Next. You see? Oh, I don't have any uh, problems with you people having beard. Uh, I'm okay with it. Okay. So don't worry. I don't have any, uh, what you say, uh, things like in the class it should be like this. Or I don't judge you based on whether you have beard or you don't have beard. That thing. As important is what is the stuff you have inside the skull. That's it. And what is the determination you have? Not just the stuff in the sense, the determination. Most of it. Hello, done. Now it actually varies with the temperature. Emissivity varies with the temperature. For example, if you take different emissivities at different temperatures, if you see. So if you say temperature and emissivity total, okay, normal emissivity. Total normal emissivity. Normal means straight to the surface. Okay. So if I consider total normal emissivity, this side is total normal emissivity. We write this epsilon n. If I write it in this direction, normal means if you have a surface normal to that, what is the emissivity? Means normal to that, what black body? Radius will be the denominator. What it is radius? We have not told no, total normal emission. It's the first time I'm getting it. Okay. So if you have that, I thought I'll skip it, but it's okay. So if you have a stainless steel, okay, stainless steel generally, uh, so if it is oxidized stainless steel, it will go like this. It varies, that's what it has different things with the temperature. That's what I'm saying. This is aluminum oxide. So emissivity changes with the temperature. This is for tungsten. Differently for different materials. That's what is the thing. This is stainless steel, lightly oxidized, lightly oxidized stainless steel. This is tungsten. Okay, so like that. Different emissivities are there. Okay. And uh, different emissivity of different materials, if it's polished, then it'll have less emissivity. Okay. Vegetation will have high emissivity. Okay, all these things we will see. So emissivity here is a I'll write that. Okay. So, yeah, that's why I said uh, refer that page, that book. Okay. So this you have to refer. In that, all the information is there. You can just look at it. Okay. It's very interesting information, students. Just get that. Okay. Read it. Okay. Correct. It's the same. For a black body, it is one. Okay, black body, it is one. See, black body radiation, how it is? It's one only. Emissivity across that is one. Ah, this dome includes all the wavelengths, or it extends, the dome extends. So, black body, what is the emissive power? What is emissivity? Emissive power of the black body divided by emissive, sorry, emissive power of the body divided by emissive power of the black body. So black body by black body has to be always. <laughs> then don't think black body emits radiation, similar radiation across all the wavelengths. It does not do it. Black body, depending on its temperature, it has a different, different character. This is given by Planck's law. Such a fantastic thing. So e B lambda, the emissive power of black body. No? E B lambda is the uh, emissive power of the black body. Correct. And then what is spectral emissive power of black body? Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, when you consider E B lambda, it is spectral emissive power. Okay. This is E lambda. This is spectral emissive power. At that particular lambda, what is the power? It is power of what is the amount of radiation it is giving? Make sense?
for example, if I, if I fix a lambda, say this is an X-ray which is coming here. See, this part is X-ray. Now you have to see what uh, this point here, E lambda, whatever is coming here, it means that if I take the energy, what is being emitted through X-rays in all the directions and divide it by the X-ray lambda, then you get E lambda. The energy, what is being released by the X-ray, you add that all the energies watt per meter square per unit area and divide it by the X-ray lambda, that is X-ray wavelength. Then you will get E lambda. That is, you will take one lambda, particular lambda to another. Exactly. Exactly. Same thing here. If you want to know what is the total energy emitted, you have to find the area under the dome. That is E B. The area under this black body dome is emissive power of the black body, which is E B. That is the amount of energy which is coming out of the black body. Make sense? I hope it's clear, students. So, next. No, yes. I hope I've started recording. Now, now last one today, we will see what's absorptivity, reflectivity, and transmissivity. So part, yes, please. Write it down, don't worry. Indian students in US find it tough as job offers shrink. Economic times. Huh? So is the money which is going out of India. No. It is like after they get insults only then they understand. Yes, exactly. It's going, it's very easy to go there. But after you go there, you get stuck. Why people are not realizing it? In the top university, there is no trouble at all. Let me tell you, Frank. Even today, whatever they are saying, it is for the second run or the third run university. Today also, if you want to get into Stanford, uh, Massachusetts, go. But don't go that I'll get a job. You may not. Or you may, I don't know. Anywhere you go out to learn, you have to go to learn. You should not think it's an investment. Investment is in learning. When the learning is complete, the investment in returns have come. That's it. Don't put it in terms of whether I have got a job or not. Job will come running behind you when you go in that fashion. What you get through knowledge is confidence. That whatever be the job market, I know how to do my living. That confidence you come get through learning. Not the job what you Job you'll get. And don't worry about the job only. You can create things. I will tell you how things can be created. And not in the short term. Never in the short term. All my, yesterday before yesterday, somebody told, told me that, sir, my, my son is there. He is having a problem in uh, calculus. He has a, he has the, exam, calculus exam, which is coming in uh, another two weeks, can you help him out? He said, no, no. 
don't send me any person student near the exams you send him at least 4 months 5 months prior then i will train him huh in engineering he is a first year engineer he is first year engineering and he is oh, he has taken artificial intelligence and machine learning and he is feeling difficult in calculus now tell me because he has seen some of my videos and he said it is good okay so he wants to do that but i said don't come now Le next year you can come but come early for the next semester now and maybe i am not going through solving problems and all those things too much so people may dislike me because there is purpose why they come is it no my purpose is i will give some knowledge to that student that's it. okay so let us see that so now this row is reflected and some part may get absorbed some part may get transmitted this is sto into g this one is alpha into g and that alpha only is the one alpha is absorbed whatever is alpha which is there that only causes temperature rise others don't cause temperature rise right so this is transmitted radiation this is transmitted this is reflected and this is absorbed absorbed so if you want to increase your energy wear a particular type of thing which is absorbed especially colors black okay if you wear black then what happens most of the sun's energy is absorbed if you wear white most of the sun's energy is reflected not absorbed so when you are feeling low when you don't have energy wear black when you are feeling high and you don't need more energy so that you wear white so like that. so now now here absorptivity reflectivity and transmissivity so what is absorptivity 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 alpha is absorbed energy absorbed absorbed radiation energy energy is understood right radiation divided by incident radiation which can be given as g absorbed divided by g what is coming in now reflectivity is equal to reflected radiation divided by absorbed radiation sorry incident this is which is given as g reflected divided by g then transmit transmitted t tau generally represented by tau which is equal to transmitted radiation divided by incident which is given by g transmitted divided by g and g is equal to g is equal to you can see <coughs> rho uh, we can write alpha into g plus rho into g plus tau into g or divide by g you get alpha plus rho plus tau is equal to 1 very easy. 
So let us see the numbers what we have reached here. We have reached a number 32, is it not? Uh, this is not required, it's all understood. 32 is all there. Okay? 32. Let this be, um, yeah, let this be 33 and let this be 34. So let us stop it here. Okay. And uh, tomorrow uh, evening we will continue. Students, evening I am not sure at what time it will end. Okay, six o'clock. I it's a high possibility that I can I'll reach by six o'clock. Okay, but I may reach early also. If I am reaching early, I will message in the uh, group that the class will start at five o'clock or the class will start at. 4.30, uh, what, 4.30 it will not be, 3.30 to 4 is the meeting, 3.30 to 4 or 4.30 is the meeting, so 4.30 if I leave, if I reach at 5.30, it will, it will be done, okay, yeah, 5.30 or 6, it will start, Thank you.